They've handed it completely over to the Justice Department to quarterback, as Congress re reported a few months ago with the documents. But at the time, Brian Stelter and his mini-me, uh, Oliver Darcy, his pop -eye were, were going around calling up and harassing my sponsors, taking sponsors away. Uh, and they were going around and, and organizing big tech uh, to, to take uh, not just myself, but many other people offline. And so he was destroying our free speech. He was taking our sponsors. But it's crazy. I just want to restate. You are not promoting race hatred. You're against race hatred. You never have promoted that, ever. You're not promoting violence. You've never called for violence. And you've never even called for breaking the law. And so that's why there's so much anger there, because I remember the day I did that and a few other clips that went viral. I showed all the stuff he was doing, but then the, the media attacked me and just click, clicked it out of context. But still, it reverberated with people because people were sick of the corporate legacy media. So people say, well, why is he so angry? Well, it's because he's literally trying to take us off air, literally taking our sponsors. I mean, the equivalent of the Vikings a thousand years ago in England pulling up and burning a village down. And so there he is, all sweet and liberal and cackling and laughing, but he's really an agent of anti-American totalitarianism. And so he was the front man of that. And I wanted to just simply say, well, you're right. I see you, I know what you're doing. So people see it out of context and think, why are you being so mean to him? Well, I mean, he's literally trying to destroy my free speech, take me off air and, and put my family on the street. So I'm pissed off at him. What's interesting is, and I, I mean, I don't know if you want me to reveal this, but we had dinner in our barn last night and... There were some drinks. And uh, after dinner, you, you and my producer called Stelter on the phone. And what was so, and, and it was on speaker, so I listened to it. What was so interesting was, you know, you've been very clear in a very direct, pretty masculine way, I would say, about how you feel about Brian Stelter. There's not a lot of confusion about your views on Stelter after clips like that, which doubtless he's seen because he Googles himself compulsively. He was very kind of syrupy sweet with you. And that's why I was sarcastic and told him I want to date him. You did. Yeah. In fact, the exact line that you had was, Brian, I'm not usually gay, but I want you. Yeah. And he seemed a little bit, I'm not saying he's open to it or whatever, but he wasn't shocked by and it. And he's like, give me your phone number. Give me, I want to talk to you. Yeah. And then he hit your producer up, please give me his number right now. Let's yeah, that talk. was interesting. But, but I was being silly with him. But, but there was also a line, he goes, oh, Alex Jones. I, I, I said, I want you to come on my show. And he said, oh, you still got a show? And I went, no, you're the one that doesn't have a show. <laughs> Sorry, I should. It's so, Tell the other line. It's so boorish to like recount conversations people weren't with.